Hello. So we are back in this time. We have a proper nice laptop to repair. Check here. I mean, you need some work to put that many stickers uh, on a laptop. Yeah, we can say it's a proper nice laptop. It's a Dinabook. You know Dinabook? Yeah. i5 CPU Satellite Pro. Pressing the power button, nothing happened. Now, all Dinabook's laptops, they are coming from the same um, computer business. Let's check their uh, letter. Hi Sorin, got another uh, of your favorite type of uh, laptop and repair. You remember this has a specific fault, a MOSFET. The laptop battery wasn't showing on the device, so we swapped this with a new one. But now the laptop isn't taking any charge. And it's taking like 23 milliamps, milliwatts. Cheers, your favorite computer business. You know, those people was, are proper nice. Proper nice. Yeah, indeed, it's a favorite computer business. I like to work. But I tried. You remember, those people were sending me candies like every time. And I tried to, you know, be a gentleman. Try to fit with the uh, British people. And uh, I said once, 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 yeah. Uh, Thank you for the candies, but you don't have to send them. And from that moment, they don't send me candies anymore. That's crazy. I tried, you know, just to be a gentleman. But yeah. <laughs> uh, just joking. No, I told them, you know, I'm too fat and I can't have, have candies. Anyway, we have to help them. Yeah, that, that's a must. I would say let's plug a charger. And let's see what he's doing. Candies are not good. Plug in the charger. Okay, the, my power supply is clicking. And check what happened with the voltage. So the voltage just dropped to 10 volts, you can see. I mean, this is something you can see with the power supply. See, it's taking like 2 amps because that's the limit. But the voltage, check that, 10 volts, you can see. Now, something like that you can see only with a power supply, with a lap power supply, with a current limit. With a normal charger, what will happen, but we're not going to test again. We test like a few videos ago, remember, and the battery died. Uh, with a normal charger... You plug the charger and uh, because of the high current, the battery will get disconnected. So yeah, that's the problem with this laptop. Let me open the laptop quickly and let's have a look inside. From, uh, from the point I start this uh, solo venture, um, I build some strong relationships with, uh, with computer businesses like this one. And I really prefer, you know, earning less money because that's how it's working. You charge less, so they charge something, I charge something, and everyone is happy. Uh, I prefer working with um, computer businesses, even if I earn less, because everything is like, you know, straightforward, no, uh, no problems. And I do. Most of my customers are actually computer business and not like private customers. And what I'm charging, I'm charging half money. Just to understand, this is a big discount, half money from a normal repair. So let's say this motherboard repair. What I will usually charge here, in the, where I on the shop I worked before, it will be like 80 pounds for a motherboard repair. Now a computer business, I charge 40. Now 40 pounds, you know, it's not that much. But you have to think, they have to make some money. They are paying for the postage. So you can put like, let's say, 20 pounds on top of the 40. So basically, they are paying like 60. And what is left, they are earning like 20 pounds. Yeah. So I'm happy with the half price of a repair. The laptop is open. This is a common fault on this specific laptop. If you see this laptop on eBay saying no battery, no charging, stuff like that, uh, it's, a mo it's a MOSFET, this one. So this one is always dying. Let's go under the microscope and check. So this is the MOSFET, which is always dying. Yeah, always, like on every laptop. Every Dinabook uh, laptop. So checking the MOSFET, let me unplug the battery. Checking the MOSFET, drain resource. Check on the screen, check on the screen, one ohm, you can see, yeah. So the MOSFET is shorted. Now what we have to do is to remove the M2 drive.
removing the empty drive now let's remove that MOSFET just a little bit of rosin flux little bit perfect I think we can use like a small nozzle good 480 degrees let's see and the MOSFET it's out yeah we took out the MOSFET now we need to find another MOSFET now from a business point of view I believe like whenever whenever you do business with someone you have to under if, if every part is understanding the other part has to do money as well I believe this is a successful uh, partnership or a successful uh, business model everyone uh, has to make money I'm pretty sure we can find here a brand new MOSFET huh? yeah what's this one yeah this this one must be must be a channel and mosfet let's solder the mosfet and the mosfet is soldered let's cool down the board quickly plug in the battery let's plug the charger plug in the charger 10 volts we just replaced the MOSFET do you think we soldered a shorted MOSFET? let me disconnect the battery no way it was brand new from the box 0 ohms how this is possible <sighs> a brand new MOSFET from my box being shorted how brand new MOSFETs can be shorted huh? the MOSFET it's out do you think actually is something else here let's see No, it's not short. Do you think we soldered the MOSFET wrong? Well, let's check the MOSFET. Shorted, I can't believe. Let's short the gate with source. Yeah, brand new MOSFET shorted. Hmm. Found another MOSFET on a board. Let's take the MOSFET out, channel and MOSFET. Good. Soldering the MOSFET here. And the MOSFET is soldered. Yeah, we have a nice solder ball here. Good. Cooling down the board. Let's plug the battery. Battery is plugged in. Plug in the charger. Check there, 400 milliamps. This uh, this laptop it will take around 800 milliamps if you remember. That's the max charge current for this laptop.
Why is taking only 140? Because the battery is discharged. We can help the battery. 7.6. We can do it. Yeah. Ah no, it's no, it's no point. The the current jumped to 850 milliamps. Pressing the power button and the laptop it is coming on. And we have picture, huh? And it's loading the windows. Okay, I don't think it's a password on this laptop. Working fine, charging fine. I'm happy I held them. It was an easy, uh, easy job. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, now have in mind, yeah, where you see Dina book, yeah, that's the problem. But all is the same MOSFET. I mean, there are so many MOSFETs. Only this one in particular is getting shorter. 800 milliamps, so it is charging fine. I'm going to stop now. Uh, we fix it. Now we may happy probably a little girl or a, or a lady. I will say thank you for watching. You know, like, subscribe if you like the video. Wait, it's not charging. Yeah, the plug came out. Yeah, charging fine. See you on the next one. Bye. Hey, if you find my content being helpful, don't forget you can support this channel by pressing the join button and you can get instantly access to our members only cool collection and uh, Discord private channels for support with your repairs. Also, you can have a look on our uh, United Kingdom uh, eBay where you can find some cool and unique products, United States eBay store or our Patreon page. Thank you.